In this lesson, we will try to make a pendulum swing like this with the rotational deformer tool. So let's first delete everything, clear out the canvas, and now select the parts that we want. We can first start with editing the texture. Let's start with importing the source texture material. So in your folder, select the PNG and import as a texture. And let's first drop in that bar or sort of function as string this time. Now let's follow the usual practice. Remember drop, D-R-O-P. The first one is draw order. Draw order is 500, it's fine. R is for renaming, so let's give it a name. Let's call it string. O is for opacity, 100%, that's fine. P is for parameter. Now, we don't have parameter for now. Let's skip that for now. Um, let's get into the other texture, the ball. Get the ball in. Again, DROP, so draw order of 500, opacity, 100, name, ball. And that's good. Let's move the ball down here. Let's put, put things into position and let's rotate it there. Now, if you have trouble aiming at that perfect vertical angle, you can hold down on shift and it should lock you to every 45 degrees. Got that in. Let's just barely touch the circumference of the ball like that. Okay. Now let's create our deformer. We need a rotational deformer. So let's click rotation and let's give it a name swing RT. And other things don't matter. We don't have parent deformer. Uh, we, we are pu putting in the rough parts uh, group and there's no division for rotational. So let's put it in. It's right here. Move it around. Nothing's moving. And let's move it here. Now let's set up. Let's, yeah, let's set up the linking. So let's make sure uh, we have a structure that we need. What we need is the rotational deformer to be the parent and everything else is the child object. So let's get the string and select the deformer string RT, swing RT as the parent object. And now once it's settled, we can click on the deformer and try to move it. All right, that seems fine. We can also move the deformer by clicking on it. And like if you hold the handle, then you'll be swinging it. If you hold the body, you would move things around. If you want to move it without moving the object, just like the regular deformer, you hold down on control and it will turn blue and you can move it freely with a uh, mattering any uh, child object at this mo moment. So if we move it here, we swing, it goes like that. We move it here, it swings, it goes like this. Down here, that. And what we need for now is really this swinging motion. However, I don't want the handle to be a reverse handle. I want to be a uh, in sync handle. What I want to do is hold on control and swing it down here. And you see there's a bar right here it tells you which what angle are you pointing at right now. I see number negative 179 and I'm trying negative 180 and it's getting a little bit trouble, but I'll drag it lower. So a nicer control and stop at 180. I think it was 79. Uh, what if I type here? Well, if I type now, it would move the bar because I don't have control. Uh, there, so I got 180. Now let's say we didn't do 180, let's do 180.6, okay? And let's see what's gonna happen. So we got that in. Now let's think what kind of parameter do we need? Do we need parameter for 
the string or do we need parameter for a deformer? Well, in our case, deformer is controlling everything else, so everything else really don't need to move at all. Which means that if they don't need to move, they don't need a perimeter. So let's give the perimeter to the uh, deformer, and let's say it's angle Z. This time we'll use three points, where negative 30 is swinging to the left, positive 30 is swinging to the, to the right. So let's go to negative 30, and let's swing the deformer. Now at this point, I'm trying to settle down at a flat horizontal angle, which is 270. I can punch it in the value right here, and it will do it. As you can see, the deformer is horizontally lying down. However, the string doesn't seem so. It's obviously off by a little bit. Why is that? It's because when this thing is straight, or the string is straight, this deformer isn't. So we need this to be 160 and every 0 0.001 degree would matter. So let's stop at 180 and let's go there. As you can see, now it's a perfectly horizontal string right there. Let's also do it other side. What do we need? I think we need 90 degrees. So let's punch it in. 90, enter, and there you go. Perfect swing. Now, we got the string in. What about the ball? All we have to do is select the ball and tell the ball your parent object is swing RT. And then it's already done. But remember to set it to the right positioning before you put in the linking. Because let's say I back a step before I link the ball to the string or to the deformer. What if the deformer was originally here? And then now I tell a ball, hey ball, your parent is actually swing RT. Well, it keeps the relational distance from the ball. It's doing the right thing as according to your command, however, it's not what we want. That's because when this is here, the ball is here. So when this is here, the ball is here, it didn't make sense, completely makes sense. And that's the reason why it's off. In order to prevent that, remember to always set it to the right uh, position before you before you set things up. So let's put it straight, touching the ball, and throw the ball, your parent, your parent object is swing RT. Or we can do it over here. We can drag you can drag ball under swing RT. Or we can do it here, drag ball in string RT or ball into string RT. Many ways to tell an object what the parent is. We'll learn more about that later. So that is all for today.